Hello guys, welcome to this video. So um, this is this video is part of the video series of um, tr that tries to uh, show you how to do the linear regression in Python and TensorFlow and what is the concept. So in this video, we are going to pre-process the data and make it ready for a machine learning model. So previously, we talked about how we load the TensorFlow keras in the previous video. So and how to download the data set, what is the data set basically, and how to make it to the um, as a nice Python pandas data frame. So now is the time to pre-process the data set and make it to train and test. So for machine learning purposes, we need this to be two parts. So one part is train, one part is test. We train the model on, of course, on training model, and we try to test it on some unseen data set, which are similar to the training data set. So let's just go ahead here using a data set sample. It's, so we have the data set here, which is the Pandas um, data frame. So using the data set dot sample, they just sample a fraction of P, which is we picked point that actually eight of sample and random state is equal to zero. So it's a, we take a sample of the data set as a training set and the portion is 0.8. So this is how it's done in the Pandas. And we basically drop the train data set from the data set object that we already have, and the remaining is going to be our test data. So this is the simplest form of splitting the train and test in the panda. So let's just run it. So as you can see, I yeah, just run it and you just take the next step. So the linear regression with one variable or simple linear regression is, as we explained, when we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable. So our independent variable is Rm, which is Rm as uh, we brought here, is the average number of room per dwelling. Uh, our dependent variable is variable um, medv is the median value of owner-occupied home in a based on a thousand dollars increment. So I will actually want to predict the median value of, of um, basically owner home occupant houses as um, we put here based on the average number of rooms per dwelling. So we have only one dependent and one independent variable. <clears throat> so to plot the dependency to the uh, one variable, we just try to map plot leave, import it, figure out, plot, subplot. Um, well actually, X is our um, train data set. This is specific um, argument, RM, which is our independent variable. And our Y is the medv dependent variable, which we want to it's the target variable I want to predict. And we try to actually run a scatter plot. So you can ignore my output here. It's a Google Collaborator that I'm always using. So the output is already there because I prepared the code for you. But um, I just try to run it to make sure that you see the same output here. As you can see, this is the dependency of medv to the RM. And it would be nice if we can have, uh, find a linear dependency with some specific lines here. So <clears throat> let's just go ahead and split train data set and label for linear regression. So here, so we can use the pop commands. It returns the item and drop them from the frame or using the indexing with label, we just can make actually different train input and targets for data set. So for the train input we have, uh, as we mentioned, the RM variable picked from the train data set and for the target, train target or our labels, we have the train data set, this particular argument, which is the medv target variable. And for the test, we basically simply do the same. So as I mentioned, we can use the pop command and drop it from the frame, but we just prefer use the argument so not to drop anything from any frames and it's easier and more handy to work with. So we use approach two, as we explained here. Let's just go ahead and run this part. So we have the train input and train target variables and the test input and test target variables. We can do some sort of data normalization because for the data normalization, sometimes our variables do not scale in different, um, basically, um, values. So let's just search about data normalization to what that is. And as you can see, there are multiple different resources. You can basically um, check to see what is the data normalization. But let's go to the scikit-learn to see what it has for us. Scikit-learn, rescaling data for machine learning. 
Um, this is a very nice website by uh, web blog by Jason. So it's a machine learning mastery blog. So you can just go. Um, although this post may not be, um, the whole thing is not uh, that much relevant, but you can still read through it to see what is data normalization or data standardization. So, and uh, as part of the pre-process data for the scikit learn, we just go for it. As you can see, the circular pre-processing package it explains, prepare for you, uh, prepare some different utility functions, do the job for you. So the standardization basically, <coughs> or the words of that circuit learning is preparing is the common requirement for main machine learning estimator implemented the uh, circuit learning for sure. Many different packages implemented the same thing as well. So what we want to do with the standardization is usually take the mean of the features to zero and a standard deviation to one. So if the features have different scalings, they just map to the same, in fact, um, uh, space. So in, in the case of simple linear regression, because we have only one variable, we don't actually need any kind of feature scaling or normalization because we only have one input variable. In the future videos, I'm going to explain more about this standardization. At this moment, you just um, stick to it and you can search online to see uh, why. But um, as I mentioned in simple linear regression, we don't use the standardization or any change in the input variable because we only have one input variable to train. And we don't need to worry about the scaling of the different kind of frame and features. So one nice example of that is that assuming you have an image and you have an RGB image, you want to feed the images to your network so that your image have three channels, the red, green, and um, blue. So any different channels here of your images may have different mean and features, um, variance. And if you naively feed those to your network, so you may end up biasing towards different channels like the red channel or blue channel. So normalization and standardization is something you really need to know and implement. So here we don't need to worry about that. And we just go ahead with the data set that we have. We don't need any normalization. So in this video, as a conclusion, so I just explained to you how to um, basically using the data set we have, the pre-process the data set and create a train and test and have a visualization of what is the uh, relationship between the target variable which you want to predict and the independent variable which we have um, and um, how to basically as i mentioned split those things so in the next video we are going to show you how to create the model and basically train your machine learning model and how to evaluate it so stay tuned thank you so much for watching i hope you learn a couple of things here at least to help you for your efforts feel free to ask questions or leave any comments if you have we'll be happy to address them all thank you for watching again